to the new version of Schmidt Expo 2020. I'm Lorna Wolthoff, and this session we're going to talk about some new pop music that can enhance your studio and things that your kids are really going to enjoy. Frozen! This is a music activity book that's really quite unique. You may want to give it to your students. You may want to buy it for your children or grandchildren. Um, it's an introduction to music. It's not a lesson book per se, but it has some interesting things. So you have the staff and the notes and the notes on the keyboard and finger numbers and you have note values. So, you know, in a nutshell, they do it real quick. There's coloring pages. It's very, very colorful. Add the bar lines. What is a tie? Dynamics. Here we go. I don't know if you can see my feet, but this little elf here is tapping his foot. We're talking eighth notes here. When you go down, it's a quarter note. One, two, three, four, one. Guess what happens on the upbeat? It's the eight notes. One, eight, two, and three, and four, and three. Here we go. Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. All right, so here we go. coloring, it's got awesome pictures, has all the songs in it, so kids are going to like it. Are they going to be able to play this right away? No. But when it's songs that they have heard and know, uh, it's a little bit easier to get into it. And it's got some great review for a serious student who has already taken some lessons. Going into big note, oh, the best of Taylor Swift. This is a heavy book. It's got a lot of pieces in it. It's over a hundred pages. Um, big note. These are pieces that your students are all going to know. Here is Love Story. That's why I've chosen popular titles that will excite and inspire any young pianist to eagerly come to the bench again and again to practice. If you use the right music, students will throw their whole heart into learning. There are many different ways to play these pieces and hints along the way. You choose your level. 
So we start out with Linus and Lucy. Level one, you're gonna play the right hand only. Since they know that, they'll get the rhythm. You don't have to worry about explaining ties and dotted quarter notes, they'll know the rhythm. If you're at a level two, we're gonna play hands together. Play along with the original recording. So, halfway through this piece, it says do a sitting happy dance. two is add that left hand and for the challenge make those left hand whole notes quarter notes so adapt this to your students level what song is that you get bonus points if you get the audience doing this too. So come on, give me bonus points. sequential. They go in order of difficulty. Easy pieces, you know, starting out even in a five finger position, going through big note and up into easy with 16th notes. This particular book is sequential kids piano songs. You have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Happy Birthday, Chopsticks, here is Do Re Mi. some 16th notes and you're moving around. Disney piano solos, the same thing, 
favorites in order of difficulty. They start with supercalifragilistic. In a five finger position. Be our guest, adds a right, uh, left hand. John Legend, there's Sarah Bareilles, um, Leonard Cohen, Celine Dion, uh, Charlie Puth, you've got Adele, Taylor Swift, Sam Smith, all of the biggies uh, today. Here's some Ed Sheeran, perfect. at that easy level and rise up. Christmas songs. We've not yet getting, gotten the Christmas book in yet, but I'm excited to see that. <clears throat> so we have mobile games. I bet none of your students play mobile games, right? Oh, these video games are taking over the world. Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So this is an easy piano arrangement of songs that are in the mobile game. Some of them are things you're going to recognize from the Harry Potter movies. They've got Hedwig's theme. from the mobile game. So, Harry Potter, Wizards Unite. Mike Spring. 
Springer has come out with a new book of easy piano jazz standards, 22 swinging and fun piano arrangements. Take note that this really might be early intermediate arrangements. Um, actually, even on the back, it says this collection, while remaining accessible to pianists of the intermediate to late intermediate level, uh, they're crafted to be easier. Well, they are easier, but they're very chordal, which is sometimes pretty hard for a student to play. As time goes by. job of these pieces. You have How High the Moon, I Could Have Danced All Night, your adult students um, are going to just fall in love with this book. students. <laughs> I'm getting older. <laughs> All of the jazz songs that they're going to love. <clears throat> Alfred's popular hits. They have level six out now. These are also great arrangements by Tom Giroux. Um, this is level six has some things. Uh, again, Final Fantasy seven things that People my age know nothing about, but they're there. You've got Shallow, Star Wars, uh, Ashokan Farewell. These are beautifully arranged.
beautifully, beautifully done. Thank you, Alfred. Okay, so what do we all need to do right now? We need to chill. We need to chill. We have a book called Chill Pop Piano Solos from Hal Leonard. Uh, 30 introspective pop piano pieces, mostly from the last 10 to 20 years. You have Stevie Wonder, Jewel, Coldplay, Maroon 5, Sam Smith, Justin Bieber, Billie Eilish, Nora Jones. A book that I could just sit down and play from beginning to end and be so nice and relaxed. Here is some Nora Jones. that are coming in to our store right now. We have customers buying guitars and ukuleles and piano books, and they're getting back into playing or starting a new instrument because that's what this pandemic has done. It's created a whole new world of musicians. And we need to take some of this time that we've been given and enjoy and play. It's so good for your soul. Thinking Out Loud, Ed Sheeran. radar. Our own Elliot Wessel several years ago started something called International Music Day, International Sheet Music Day, to bring into the awareness of the public that sheet music still exists. You don't have to go online, you don't have to download, you don't have to get things that are not even legal, but sheet music still exists. And every day in August, we celebrate International Sheet Music Day. There is a logo that has our, the old picture of Van Cliburn playing in front of the downtown Minneapolis store. That's the logo for International Sheet Music Day. And the newest piece of sheet music from this is Only the Young by Taylor Swift. Brand new, it just came out a little while ago, and I'm not gonna play a lot of this. It's a regular standard piano vocal arrangement. I just wanted to make you aware of International Sheet Music Day. So give your kids 
something fun. It doesn't have to be every week, but give them something that makes them want to come back and makes them want to play the piano. And it will enhance their lives, which will in turn enhance your lives. So I hope you enjoyed this session and found some new things that you're gonna be able to use. And thank you again for joining us.